Boys, we are on our way over to Spaz's garage. We have a new arrival down here in the old boxy, but we're gonna deliver that over to young Jaker. It seems people are digging the old Honda. Oh, we got the email from our friends over at uh, Nova Fabrications. Um, that's over on your side of the old border, boys, for the most part. We saw that Honda. Anyway, you guys be interested in equipment with a adjustable lift, inch and a half to lift, two and a half inch or something like that. Message Jacob said, is it something you're into, young lad? Dumb question, okay? So, yeah. Lift get. Just like that. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, oh, oh. hi, Joss. Decent. Look at that Honda looking all sparkly and stuff. Pretty much, eh? Stefan broke himself an axle, eh? Broke himself an axle and, uh, I missed the salt scoreboard. I missed the bolt here in the bracket, so uh, I don't know what we were smoking. Looks good though, nevertheless, but that'll pull that board in there tighter, which it should be. It looks pretty good. Well, I think I'll do it all. It is rather something out. Should be. Where's the owner? Just come note and scrub the sandwich, you know? Alright, well, we'll be right back. Good night. Let's take a look at this lift kit. Oh, you got a nice car. Oh, yeah, look at today. What's an adjustable lift kit for a Honda look like? Oh, look at that. They've got instructions. Oh, she's got an edge on her, eh, bud? Hmm? Oh. Oh, she's black and powder coated. Yeah, that's nice and slender, so that'll get in and around there. Okay, so three holes. Those are your adjustments, right? So you start kicking. Oh, that's neat. Oh, boys. <laughs> Got ourselves a little bit of fab work there, eh? The yeah. guys have put their uh, emblem in there. That looks pretty kick-ass. Yeah, it does. Very nice. Here for the front, that must be somewhere where we can. You think that one would be for the back out. where it would probably show it, eh? Yeah, but uh, our instructions shot to show yeah, us. Yep, that's the back, it is, eh? Looks nice, like so it'll be sort of displayed. You can kind of see the um, oh, nice, oh, yeah. Yeah. nice, Jake. Well, you that'll actually look pretty sharp on there, wash and then it comes with two brackets for the other side of the shock mounts. Okay, this is pretty simple. I mean, all bracket lifts really are. Um, this one looks a little nicer than the one I had on my King Quad for sure. I like the way it goes from one side to the other and ties in. Yeah. Seems to be a little more quality and time put into that one, though, eh? Yeah. I don't think it's going to take us too long, boys. So, uh, we'll probably start, uh, jumping into the old Honda here and get the old adjustable on her, man. Cool. Perfect.
Picture time. I want to see where the Honda sets comparison to the old Renegade, but 32. She's got quite the lift on her, boys. I should do. So do it. And then crank your tire at the end. Yeah. Whoa. Perfect, Dave. Perfect, bud. Spaz, yours is off. Get a look at her. Get a look at her, boys. There it is. Did you just saunt it? Did you just look at her, boys? Yeah, we got her some measuring tape, Jake, and let's take a look at these bad boys. Well, sir, I think there's, uh, it's close, man. there's just close. as much, look at this place, there's pretty much just as much clearance. I don't think it's quite there, it's probably, close. it is very close. Jake's Honda is closer to being ground clearance like the Renegade than any of these others. The front, you're going to look low with that. Up there. Usually you want to come just in front, get a good up and down, and yeah, Jake, you'd be pretty much bang on at about 14 even. Yeah. For the ready with 32s. And we come over to our Honda, our Rubicon with 28 inch Moto Havocs. And some killer looking XD wheels on my dad, boys. And for the Honda, you gotta go back a ways. But I'm guessing he's gonna have over, oh he does, he's got Oh wow, he's so close to 14 in the front that it's not even funny. I mean, barely shy, barely shy of 14. That's got to go back a ways to find it too, man. That's pretty wild. We're going to remind you that we just put a uh, an adjustable lift. What was it? One and a half to two and a half? Okay, so one and a half inch Nova Fabrication bracket lift. One and a half adjustable to two and a half. And we went right straight to the two and a half because what? Hell, great boys. It's a 29 even by nine and a half. M310, but Spaz also has the players equipped with a a two-inch bracket lift. And believe it or not, the players. But there's the thing about different about the players. Now he has more clearance in the front at 15 and a half, but it actually drops. The frame on a player drops in the center like this. So the lowest point of a player is right in the center of the bike. Um, all other makes and models basically are going to be a little bit lower and raked towards the back, so a little higher clearance. But it is what it is. Popo's got us up front with 15, a little over 15. Oh, we got Steph on quite the angle. We actually have to push this bike back a bit to get him on clutch. And Steph is running a uh, 31 inch, I think. Nope. Nope. He's at a 30 inch Havoc because he runs a, a different size wheel. He's actually running 16 inch wheels because you can't get. A havoc. It is a 16, right? Let's not. Yeah, it is. Can't get a 30 inch havoc in in a 14 inch wheel. He is shy of 13 up front. We we'll go straight up and down. He's actually, yeah, he's 12 and a half. A little more in between 12 and a half. And okay, now this okay. Is here, here's the money. Here's here, the I'll money. Hold the camera. Sure, brother. Here you want to do the old filming? Okay. He's okay. Really to the rear. To the rear bar. Staff's got himself almost 14 clear in the rear. Again, with a 30 inch tire on an XMR 650. Players to the rear bar. 
looking right there, 14. 14 to the bottom. There we go, Honda. And you're right about, you're right about, so that would be the bottom of your plates, right about there. So you're 16, just shy, just, just shy. Yeah, barely shy of 16, barely. And the old Renegade. So the bottom of the plate is only 14 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter, there you have it, with 32s wow. on. Now, Jake. we could do this. Which we should have done on all Right, these right. We will try that, the Honda didn't move. Play with it a little bit. Did you do that in the back and the front? Uh, we didn't, but we can redo. We can redo. Okay. Run down the line again, it does make a difference. Quite a bit on Renegade actually, because they sat out, set out pretty good. You're looking at 15 and a quarter. Players did move up too. It's a Honda. Oh yeah, this is the Honda. Honda didn't move. She's still there at just shy. So about 15, uh, 15 three quarters. Players did move. I know it moved when I went down there. Felt like it did. Yeah, no, still 15. Still 15. Steph's bike definitely came up. So we definitely underestimated, yeah, 15 right at the bar. Yeah. Not too bad. Should we do this? Do we left, you know, up, we left up on the front? I don't know. We'll see how much dive we had on here. Yeah, the can ams are really bad. Really bad for sag, eh? Watch the same movement. <laughs> no. Pretty cool old scamper now. And the Renegade's not really moving either. Yeah, it's pretty kick-ass, eh, bud? Yeah. Barely over 14, 14 and a quarter. There's the old Honda. Oh, Honda, you gotta go back a ways to that point, which are just 13, three quarters. Give or take, you can almost see better on the camera, usually. So you guys will have input there, but we're looking at 16, yeah? 16 on the old Popo, which is great, man. Good front end clearance. So their approach on the Popo is really good. As long as you get that momentum too, yeah, you're just gonna sure. you you're go. gonna rock over top of. That's what the skid. You know, you're looking at 13, a little over 13. Yeah. But there you have it, boys. Yeah. Look what a two and a half yeah. inch yeah. lift will do to a Honda. I mean, yeah. for sure. Running almost the same clearance as a Renegade with 32 inch assassinators, no lift. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Well, boys, I think I'll just uh, snap off a few pictures and then we'll probably put these bikes away. And uh, that concludes our little two and a half inch lift. Now we'll just have to go out and try her, eh, Jake? Yep. See how she paws through. And uh, we gave him the old low gear lecture. So we're gonna see a little more of Jake running low and seeing what it does. I think he'll have a little more leeway as far as gear ratio that way. But uh, kick ass, man. Right on, boys. We'll see you on the trail.
o'clock. Awesome. Awesome. We get to see the Honda in action with the two inch left, boys. Jake, you're going to get her in there and he's going to get her all locked up. Diff lock. Oh, she's cute. Oh, yeah, the habits are working, boys. Holy shit, you walked right up that, bud. Fuck, that was awesome. Yeah, like just crawl right out, didn't even spin. Fuck, that was low gear, that shit was good. We're good, eh? Oh like seriously though. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh, on, yeah, why wouldn't you? The air box is not, like this is not deep. Look, it's in my knees. Yeah. All these bikes go through this. I just walk around up and out. No problem. I'm so water right down the waders. Listen to the idle on, eh? She's got power and low, eh? Like she's juicing. All right, let's take a little breather here, boys. I think Jake really enjoyed that. Got a feeling. I just got to coax him in there. Once he gets comfortable with yep. what that Honda can actually do, which is a lot more than probably most of us would anticipate. Realistically, they work awesome. Oh, I, I swear to God, he wants to go through again. He's just, he's just digging it now. Okay. Come on back here, brother. We'll take a little breather. Oh, this is nice with the breeze, boys. Oh. Look at the Honda. She's dragging weeds, boys. Because you're going back and forth and the pressure on the gear. Yeah. Yeah. We're well, going to reverse for a second. Probably just got it sometimes a blip forward again. Yeah. That's to release that it. pressure. I mean, even the Can Ams will do it if they're leaning on that gear and got pressure. So, no biggie. Not a real issue. Awesome. See you on the trail, boys. <laughs> 